Thousands of Connecticut students may have to find their own way to school on Monday. That's because the state is preparing for a potential school bus crisis and hundreds of drivers are threatening to not show up when the state's vaccine mandate takes effect. Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson spoke with a driver who says they should be able to make their own decision. And Sharon, what else did this driver tell you? Well, Shantae, a lot of parents may be using student drop-off areas like the one behind me this Monday. That bus driver tells me they feel like they shouldn't be mandated to do anything. She says a lot of her coworkers are planning on staying home on Monday, and they're already dealing with a shortage. I want to let all the parents know that we are not trying to be interrupting their lives. That is not our goal. We want to do our job. We love our kids. On Monday, those kids could be facing no ride to school, dealing with extended rides, or traveling on a combined route bus. That's because school bus drivers are pushing back at the state's vaccine mandate. It requires them to be fully vaccinated or undergo weekly COVID testing starting next week. I got the test under duress because I need my job. Um, I don't think it should be mandated. Carolyn Petrell has been driving for 17 years. She says that this year has already been stressful because we can't even afford one person calling out. Now, many of her coworkers aren't planning on coming back anytime soon. What's going to happen on Monday? I'm really not sure exactly what's going to happen. The Connecticut School Transportation Association is estimating more than 300 drivers won't show up. That's on top of the 800 plus vacancies they already have. It's going to be a little bit bumpy Monday, more bumpy than it's been the last few weeks of school. John Hipsher is also the COO of M&J Bus Incorporated. He wants the governor to either drop the mandate for drivers or give them more time to figure out a plan. To put this stress and this pressure on the school bus operators and the drivers with not a lot of time, that's that's a, putting us at a major disadvantage. We reached out to bus companies. DATCO says they will not pull non-compliant drivers off of routes unless districts request it. In response, a spokesperson with the governor's office says school bus drivers are employed by districts and not with the state, so responsibility is with the local employer when it comes to compliance. Parents we spoke with saying bus drivers need to follow the rules. I think everybody needs to get the vaccine. We done took uh, polio shots, chicken pox shots, uh, all these uh, diseases, so what's one more shot?